I'm Angie from Angie's Craft Corner. How are, how's everybody doing today? Today we are going to do a corn that is it's it's based Christian. It says, "Mightier than the waves of the sea is it His love for you." Psalms ninety three and four. This set came from May May. Made it. And here's the uh, set. And as you can tell, I have used it a few times. Actually, I've just used it this morning. And uh, <clears throat> if you are looking for Christian stamps, May May made it. And you can too. It is the best place to go get them. Because she's got all kinds of them. And But we are going to use this one these three and the storm and I hope y'all y'all enjoy this short I, it's gonna be short I've already pre-cut I've got everything ready to go because I just got through making this one and I liked it but my and so and I'm not gonna put this on a card base because I'm just lazy today uh, but my mat is five and a half by four and a quarter, and my Y is four inches by five and one eighths. So I'm going to leave this out while I can see it. And uh, open my stamps. And I'm going to do the big one pieces before I do the storm. No way I'm not overlapping. Nothing. And I'm going to use my Stampin' Up! inks. Uh, first one for the, the waves is a Pacific Point. And you can find all of this on the blog at AngieCraftCorner.com. And I'm going to grab a baby wipe and clean my stamp. And stamping it somehow or never leaves um, stains on my stamps. But oh well. And then I'm going to do my ankle in a real red from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to change blocks. This block is just not what I need. And I'm going to kind of anger it. At a, like a 90 degree angle and press really hard. And I'm not sure why it's doing that, but okay. And then I'm taking my my saying. It says, "Matter, matter in the waves of the sea, His love for you." And that is so true. This is Ollie Espresso from Stampin' Up. I'm sorry. And then we are going to use Daffodil Delight from Stampin' Up. You'd think I'd have all this open.
and I'm gonna just uh random random stamp the star on this make it my own background I mean I'm gonna do it off the page on the page just like so in my stamp and the reason why I don't leave my ink pads open because I used to be really bad at it when I first started because I'd get a card just about done or done and it was really pretty and somehow or another it dropped on my ink pad well it didn't take long to realize You've got to shut the ink pads because otherwise it's going to make a mess. I have threw away so much stuff because of my ink pads get attacking. I'm using my art glitter glue and as you can tell I use this a lot. I mean I just refill it. I, here's my refill. And I'm just going to try my best to center this just like so. And there we have it. Uh, less than a 10 minute card. And uh, I mean, if you, the card base should be five and a half by 11 inches no four and a quarter by 11 inches yeah right no four and a quarter five and a half by eight and a half okay Whew. and fold it fold in half and then glue this on top and you'll have your card made but like I said, I'm doing this. I'm lazy this morning because so I don't want to cut it. <laughs> so, anyways, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us. Visit us at Angie Craft Corner for all the instructions for the measurements and the stamps, the inks, all of it. And I will catch y'all next time. Have a blessed day. We'll... See you later.